A popular question I get asked is, Eddie, if you were to start again from the beginning in 2022, how would you do it? What would your roadmap look like? Also, what sort of checkpoints would you make sure you achieve when you get to, so you could get to your end goal efficiently and effectively. Well, I wanna share that with you in today's video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Eddie and I'm a self-taught full stack developer, but I'm specializing now in DevRel as a freelancer. So yes, DevRel as a service. And if you don't know what that means, I've got plenty of videos on it. I'll link one in the description below. But the point I'm trying to make is, yes, I'm a GitHub star. Yes, I've worked at some big, massive companies. Yes, I've worked at startups. Yes, I'm freelancing, but you can do anything that you put your mind to. And I used to be a full stack developer and I still am a full stack developer, but focusing on the DevRel side. Tech is so big and I actually have a video coming out soon talking about the different roles in tech. So do keep an eye out for that. I really believe tech is for everybody, be it open source, be it a job, be it freelancing, be it that you're changing, you know, you're 40 years old, 50 years old, and you're changing into tech, or you're just finishing college and you want to get into tech. Wherever you are, you have a place in tech. Your perspective, your point of view can add so much value. So right, back to this video. So if I was to do it again, be it at my age at 40 that I am now, or coming out of college, I'll do the same thing. First things first, I would create a GitHub account. Therefore, I can put some of my learnings there. And I'll create a Twitter account at the same time as well. Don't worry about any other social platforms. You can add those and create those later. The most valuable ones, I really believe, are GitHub and Twitter because both allow you to share your learnings in public, which you hear me talk about all the time, but that's really, really important. They share different things, so it's not a kind of a copy and paste. On GitHub, you're gonna be putting your code, your project management skills, your organization skills, your communication skills, whereas on Twitter, you're gonna be sharing snippets and bite sizes of information and tips that you can share with other people. I know what you're thinking, Eddie, hey, I'm just getting into tech. I'm like a week into tech. How can I help other people? Well, if you're a week into tech, there's someone where you were seven days ago and you can help them. And by helping them, you're gonna learn a lot more about communication and collaboration, which we'll get to in a moment. So first of all, create a Twitter and GitHub account. If you don't have to do very much with them there yet, make sure you add a profile picture. Ideally, make it your name so people can find you really easily in the future. Add a short bio, again, you can update this later on. So next thing, in terms of coding, to become a web dev in 2022, I would start learning some basic HTML. And I say basic because you don't have to learn the whole thing, just learn a little bit about it so you can create a simple static web page. And once you've done that, make sure you put it on GitHub. So you have to learn a little bit about GitHub and how you would do that. You can do it all via the GitHub UI. That's absolutely fine. Git that powers uh, the versioning behind GitHub, you can learn later. That's fine, it's not a problem. So copy and paste your HTML code that you have done onto GitHub into a repo. The next thing I would do is learn a bit of CSS. So you can style up your page, make it look a little bit prettier. Just a little bit, not low, just learn a few things. Background color, color, font, maybe a bit of a layout, so with Flexbox or Grid or something like that. And of course, you guess it, put it on GitHub. And the reason for putting it on GitHub is you're not, you're not only learning in public and sharing your journey, but also if you get stuck, and you will get stuck, and I still get stuck 15 years later. But the important thing is when you ask someone for help, you can actually send them a link to your code and say, I'm expecting this, but I actually get this, what's wrong? And they can solve it super quickly. It makes it easier for them, which makes it easier for you. And therefore you're gonna get more people helping you. And when you get people helping you, you wanna make it easy for them. You don't want them to have to try and fight and understand what is going on. You're having loads of conversations where just showing them would solve the problem a lot quicker. So now you've got your HTML and CSS basic on GitHub. You could probably use GitHub pages to actually host those in the browser. I think it's really important to do that. So now in your repo, have a link at the top right, which links to your deployed version on GitHub. Most of the time you just need to create a branch and in the settings of the repo, just change what folder it's to look at. The GitHub has some great documentation on that. So do go have a look at that. Any question, leave a comment below. So now you have a static web page hosted and you've got it versioned on GitHub and you know how to do that. Next up, I'll probably learn some JavaScript. The great thing about JavaScript, it's not perfect, but the great thing about it is it can be used in the front end as well as the back end. So let's stay with the front end for the moment. So the next thing I would learn a bit of JavaScript to allow me to make the front end web page a bit more interactive and dynamic. 
learn some basics, add that to your project. And if you want to build a second or third project, that's fine. If you get another idea, get creative. Don't worry, you can abandon those projects and start new ones. Just make sure you're always practicing and learning all the time on a project on GitHub in public. Yes, by open source, I mean in public. Make it public, don't make anything private. And even if you look back at two or three projects ago and you think, oh, I wouldn't have done it that way now. I've learned so much, I'll do things differently. That's great. That's what I look for when I'm hiring people. Not is your latest code perfect, but I'm looking that is your code today better than it was one month ago, two months ago, three months ago, because that shows that you're still learning. So don't worry about hiding those projects that you're probably a bit embarrassed about have them on display because they only strengthen your position. Now you've learned HTML and CSS and JavaScript, maybe you want to throw in some front-end libraries like Bootstrap or any some component libraries if you want to get into React in the front-end. It's okay that you don't know JavaScript inside out and you can't, it is changing and evolving all the time, there's always so much to learn, but you can throw some libraries or some frameworks in there to make it a little bit more interesting. Make sure you keep pushing yourself and make sure you're doing it publicly again so you can ask questions and you can help other people. And every Every day, try and share a tweet, at least one, about what you're doing. Well, I like to call a stand-up. In the Eddie Hub Discord, we actually have a stand-up channel. Uh, it's really great when people share what they did yesterday, what they plan to do today, and any challenges they had. If you have any challenges, share it. Someone might say, hey, I had that last week. Here's a resource on how I solved it, or give you a one-liner, point in your direction. So it's really important to share that. It's the only way other people can help you. So now you've got that, really, that's kind of like, one to four weeks worth of work and then you can go back to the beginning and strengthen your html then repeat strengthen your css then strengthen your javascript and then repeat back to the beginning and each time you'll be strengthening your github and your git not only your personal brand but on how you use those i think it's really important then start contributing to some open source projects because then you'll learn how to fork the project how to collaborate with other people and then by doing that remember github is a social platform just like twitter it's a, which is a social platform too people have their going to start looking at your profile, start contributing to your projects, and then you're going to have to be a bit of a maintainer and discuss your projects with other people, and you're going to learn so much. I can't emphasize that enough. And with those skills that I've just said, you're going to become an awesome developer. I know you're awesome already, but you're going to become even more awesome. And just keep rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, and it will keep getting more challenging each time. You're going to be learning after your first year, after your fifth year, after your 15th year, I am still learning from all of you and I really appreciate geeking out with you all the time. I hope that helped. Leave me your ideas and thoughts in the comments below. Maybe you're five years into your career and you can share some tips. Maybe you're only one day into your journey. Share some of your challenges and thoughts below. So give this video a thumbs up while you're down there. It really helps support the channel and cost you nothing. And subscribe if you want to get notified every time I post a video and go live. I'll catch you in the Eddie Hub Discord to geek out between live streams and video.